Well, it's 1.45 a.m. Yep. How you doing? I'm exhausted. Emotionally. What went on? Well, I played a lot. And then we got in here and they did an ultrasound and everything looks good. Yes, we got some pictures. We're 12 mm -hmm. weeks exactly today. today. Even though the doctor said he's measuring at 12 weeks, 3 days. Mm -hmm. But the heartbeat's good. But the heartbeat's Even really good. Then, it's at 174. Good. So it's all good. And our, that's our baby. He's looking good. But scared. And pretty scary. Just watching everything, making sure. I'm going to yep. call my OB tomorrow. Just to make sure. Yeah, I just had a little bit of a scary night. She was going to the bathroom and we found some blood, and so a lot of blood. And it wasn't brown, so. Yeah. A little worrisome. But the doctor said everything's okay, so. Mm -hmm. We'll see what her OB says. Come on. What they thought might have been the issue was we thought she maybe was Rh negative, and the baby. Well, and I'm I'm positive, so there yeah. could be like cross contamination in the blood, and so that's what they were worried about. So that's what we've been testing for, and she's actually positive. So. Mhm. Mm they don't have to do any of the yeah, blood the stuff. They get to do like infusions. switch the inf blood infusions and stuff, but still nerve wracking to yes. see to see fresh blood and a little bit more than just spotting. A lot of bit more than just. Mm -hmm. But baby's okay for now, so we'll see how it goes over the next week. Yes. Oop. Scary though. Mhm. Mm Yes. <clears throat> All right, you guys, we wanted to kind of do a quick follow-up video to what you just saw. Um, so that was Monday. Today mm -hmm. is Thursday. So we're a few days after. Yeah. Um, I'll kind of let Shan tell the story from the beginning, kind of what we're, what was happening up to now, and then I'll just mm -hmm. kind of elaborate. But mm -hmm. go ahead. So basically, Monday night, I found a lot of bleeding in the toilet, and I called him in, and we both kind of freaked out, and we decided to go to the ER, and they told us that they would be able to do an ultrasound, but kind of sucked because we had to wait there for about an hour before they could get us in, and so they checked everything, and he was like moving around, and his heartbeat was good but they did some blood work just to make sure that our blood wasn't like Rh negative and Rh positive, like opposites. So they weren't cross contaminating. Because they said if that happened, that that could be the reason for the bleeding, um, among other things, but they're like, our blood types are the same. And so there was no like cross contamination. Not the same, but they're possible. both positive. Yeah, both so. positive. So since then I've been swatting a little bit, um, but it hasn't been red. So that's good because Monday night it was bright red and there was a lot of it, hmm. which was really scary. Yeah. Um, so now we've just been trying to take it day by day and yeah. Yeah, it's scary and it's hard too because now it's like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna be stressed every single day yeah. for the next six months. So, um, but yeah, everything's okay. Luckily, like we got to see the baby on the ultrasound and baby boy's doing totally fine. Still a spaz, jumps around all yeah. over, but um, yeah, so it's just kind of scary. I'm sure a lot of you probably have had similar experiences and we're just grateful that it hasn't resulted to what usually comes from this. Um, we're just really grateful and we were super emotional the night of and it was just, it was really, really hard. And I don't know, it's a miracle baby. And so we're kind of just on high alert and- He said that it's like the couple days after was like, I would be threatening to miscarry, which yeah. was scary. And so he said just to take a lot of rest and Basically, he said to watch it though for the next week. Yeah. And luckily, she hasn't done what she's been doing. I mean, yeah. she's had, I think, I think spotting's pretty normal in pregnancy, especially if yeah. it's really light and brown. Mm -hmm. And that's basically all she's had since. So we're grateful for that. Um, we'll just kind of keep watching it. But mm -hmm. um, we posted that video on TikTok. Some people were a little bit concerned, so we just thought we would explain it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But it's also nice to hear that it's a lot of people have the yeah, things, and it could be normal. multiple things. It could be like an mm -hmm. infection. It could be just her cervix is irritated. It could. Mm -hmm. some, some people were saying there can be a thing called, um, what was it? Hyperchronic 
um, hemorrhages. Um, it also could be just the fact that the placenta is taking over, and I guess that can cause some bleeding. Yeah. So it's a lot of different things. I think I, nobody ever really knows. Everybody's different. It goes through different things, especially women's bodies. When you guys go through pregnancy, it's just it's crazy. So luckily everything's okay. And you know, if you're going through the same thing, just always go get checked. It's just it's better to be safe than sorry. So. Yeah. But we're still going, so <laughs> everything's good. Yeah. We'll just keep you updated. Yeah. We have an at-home Doppler, so we've been able to like hear him and mm -hmm. still beating away and so everything's yeah, good. So that but, helps. Yeah, it does help kind of calm us down. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much. Just kind of a quick little side note. Thank you so much for following us and joining and commenting and sharing mm -hmm. your own stories. We love to hear them. So continue to do that. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on TikTok. We post a lot more over there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Follow us on Instagram, all of that's in the link below. I mean, in the comment, I mean, in the, what's it called? Description below. <laughs> We're still a little on edge, so. Thank you guys so much, yeah. and we will see you guys in the next one.